Today we're talking about screenshots and what we mean by screenshots is essentially taking a picture of your screen and we're going to try to hurry up and go through this video because there's a couple different methods and at the end we're showing you the simplest way of doing it. So by default the old fa fashioned method is just hitting the print screen button on your keyboard and you just need to find that on laptops it's going to be in kind of different locations sometimes on your regular keyboard should be next you know to the your F 11 F12 keys kind of up there somewhere. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and click on the print screen um, button once on our keyboard. Uh, once we do that, that's essentially taking a, a picture of our screen, but now we need to do something with it. So you could open up MS Paint, you can open up Word, which is what I'm going to do. You can also open up Outlook, a lot of different programs. And what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and right click in the area and click on Paste. And once we do that, you'll see that we basically just took a screenshot of the screen that we just saw. And, you know, now we can do whatever we want with it. We can save this picture. We can email it. Whatever we want to do. You know, that's kind of, you know, the old-fashioned way of doing it. And the new way of doing it is we actually go out to the Internet and we download a program called GreenShot. Uh, this program I use in, you know, the hospital that I work at and in our IT department, and we push that out to all of our users, and they use that because it's extremely simple, and it gives you a lot more options, a lot more freedom, and I, my gosh, I love it. Everybody that we, you know, have used, they love it. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we're just going to open up Internet Explorer real quick. And we just need to go out to to the web, and we're going to a, a site called Ninite. That's N I N I T E dot com. And once we have that in, we can just go ahead and click Enter, and it's going to take us right here. Uh, this is a very awesome tool. This Ninite program, uh, basically, it goes out to the web and it downloads all of the programs that we want to select here, and it will install them for us without us having to do anything. We don't have to keep keep clicking next and we don't have to look for those tricky options on whether we want some stupid toolbar installed or some additional program installed that you know we don't want so basically you know whatever we check here that we want to install it's only going to install that and installs it for you you'll get no toolbars and you'll go to get no additional software so anyway what we're looking for here is green shot and we're going to look under imaging here i'm going to see it and we're going to click on the little check box here green shot we're going to scroll down to where it says get installer and we'll go ahead and click on that and it's going to ask us here in internet explorer do we want to run or save it and we can basically just click on run it because it's just going to you know run this application it's kind of download it temporary kind of and we'll just run it as soon as we we kind of get it get it downloaded here um, you could save it you know just make sure you know where you save it to and you can find it and you can you know double click on it and, and get it to run so that way it'll start installing the program so we're just gonna click on run and it's gonna do this preparing setup well sometimes you'll get this this UAC depending on the settings that you have that's the user account control we're just gonna go ahead and click yes because it's gonna make changes to our computer by installing so we'll click yes it's gonna download GreenShot then it's gonna start installing GreenShot and like I said this this night night program does everything for you all we had to do was basically click on run and, and it started downloading everything and started installing everything and it's only installing the program that you select nothing else no toolbars nothing and that's it, it says finished we're done we can close it out we have green shot installed and it sh it's that's not running yet so we can just go ahead and double click on it once we do that we should have this little little g down here uh, by default, this should usually run on startup now from now on. Um, I haven't really seen it where it hasn't been running on startup. But anyway, now that we have GreenShot running, uh, the same way we did it before, we go to the print screen button on our keyboard, the key, and we look for it. We just click it once. And you'll see as soon as we do that, we have crosshairs now. So now with the crosshairs, that's basically giving us an option on what we want to take a screenshot of. I mean, we could literally select the entire screen if we wanted to. But let's say we just wanted a, a little area here. We, we just want to take a picture of, you know, this Ninite box in, in this area. So with our mouse, we're going to line it up where we want to start. And if we left click and hold down the left click where we want to start and just drag the area that we want to copy... And we'll say, all right, that looks good. If we let go of the left click, we're going to get a lot of options here. And that's probably the best part of this program, in my opinion, because we don't have to open up another program to save the screenshot. We don't have to copy it in anything. We don't have to do any of that stuff. We could just save it directly 
you know we can save it right now we can set it we want to save it as the, at the desktop we can open it in the Greenshot Image Editor if we wanted to make any kind of modifications, put some text in there, throw some arrows in there. You can copy it to the clipboard so you could paste it into another document, you know, if you wanted to paste it into another Word document or you wanted to paste it in your email, something like that. You can also just send it directly to your printer if you wanted to print it out. How awesome is that? Um, you can also open it up in Outlook and shoot it off to an email, PowerPoint, Word, Excel. All of these options here. I mean, look at all these options. If you're, you know, familiar with the, you know, any of these different programs, Photo Bucket, Picasa, all image programs, you can send it right to there. Very simple, easy to use. Um, but for now, for this video purpose, we're just going to click on Save As, and we're going to get an option here where you see we have another screenshot saved in there, a uh, test video I was making. Um, but it's always going to set like the date, you know, of, of the time that that screenshot was taken. Um, but we're just going to call this one uh, Screenshot 2, and we're just going to click Save. And, you know, right away you see we have Screenshot 2 saved on our desktop. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. I mean, it's perfect because you can just select the area that you want. Again, all you have to do is hit, you know, the Print Screen key on your keyboard. You get the crosshairs. You select the area that you want. You know, it even tells you the size in pixels how big of the area that you're selecting. I mean, it's awesome. It's amazing. I love it. Everybody that we have uh, used this loves it. So I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions about anything, please feel free to comment on our YouTube channel. And as always, please subscribe. Please like our stuff. Comment on anything that you can. If you have any questions about anything, always feel free to contact me. If you have any suggestions for some future videos, Please send me those so I can start making out making more videos for you guys so you can learn how to do anything that you want to do. I'm more than happy to show you. I really thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it so much. Have a great night.